give them to y'all um i'm making friends y'all like for real y'all like if y'all are like me like i have lots of friends but at the age that i am like a lot of my friends are having kids are settling down they're getting married because so i don't have a lot of single friends so i downloaded bumble and i used the the friend feature and i found some girls to go out with y'all and there's nothing wrong with that and like my real friends, they ain't offended because I can make some new friends. Like, they understand they got babies and I got to have, you know, I need somebody to go out with. They can't do it. So, I made a friend on there. And so, like, tomorrow we're going to go out for, like, food and drinks. And I'm really excited. But I really don't have a lot of clothes to wear because I don't, normally don't go anywhere. So, that's why I'm at Ross. I'm about to find me a shirt. But I'm also about to go and judge a cheerleading tryout. Cause y'all know your girl has a multiple strains of income and so it is tryout season so i work with a company and we get sent to go different schools around the area to go do a trillion tryouts so that's exciting i wish i could record them y'all they're so funny i mean like not in like a i probably shouldn't laugh but i'd be laughing i'm truly trying to be funny but the school I'm going to actually has a pretty good athletes, so I might not get to laugh today. But um, y'all be laughing in them kids' faces. Like, it's bad, I know. That's probably why I don't have kids, because I'm rude. Anyway, um, so yeah. I'm in my canes. And I'm going to take y'all. Well, if I see anything worth seeing, I'll show you guys in Ross. If not, I'll just do a little mini haul in the car. And then I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I look ugly. Anyways, um, so today is Saturday. I got home super, super late from the cheerleading tryout. Like, oh my gosh. Like, it was literally so long. We had so many callbacks. And then I had to drive an hour and a half back home. So, I didn't get to try on the clothes from Ross, so I'm going to do that for you guys later. But in the meantime, I think I'm about to go and make breakfast and catch up on my YouTube shows. I love watching uh, Poor Minds, which is a podcast from Lex P. Andrea. They're hilarious. Um, I also just now started watching uh, Jitsi Woo's uh, channel. She has a, a podcast called Brownies in a City. That's cool, too. I didn't really fuck with that last podcast they did. Like, Lex P was on there, so I watched it because I fuck with Lex P. But they were talking about cheating and the whole Derek Jackson thing. And they were just try basically trying to condone it. Like, all but, like, one girl was trying to condone cheating. And um, one day, I'll give my thoughts on cheating because I think it's different when... Um, like, I think people just don't know what they would do in that situation until they're actually in the situation. Now, I don't condone cheating. I don't believe in staying with someone that cheats. But have I done it before? Yes. Um, but basically, they were trying to condone cheating, saying if you want to date a certain caliber of a man, that um, it just kind of just comes with it. Like, if you want to date someone that's rich and one has money, like, cheating is just a part of the game. And I don't, I don't believe that, but whatever to each his own um but yeah i'm gonna make some breakfast y'all i don't do anything special y'all i don't eat healthy at all it's probably why i'm losing no weight but i need to because it's about to be hot girl summer and my birthday is in june and i have a lot of things that i'm trying to plan for my birthday i also have to figure out where i'm moving or if i'm going to stay here i do love my town home um but I just have a lot of 
bad memories connected to this town home and I feel like I need to get out of my comfort zone but I don't know that might be another video but uh yeah I need to call and make my eyelash appointment tomorrow I'm gonna try to get my eyelashes refilled and I'm getting a new nail set you guys make sure you check out my nail tech on Instagram um Casey acrylics on Instagram she's based in Houston and like these are like pink ombre I saw in my last vlog um well I'm like a nail ambassador for her so I get my nails done like every two weeks so stay tuned to see my new set it should be in this vlog but yeah right now I'm about to go and um make breakfast so let's go to the kitchen okay so I just made some sausage and some eggs and some grits I have grits at the bottom and I'm just gonna drink it with my green tea and this is my breakfast okay so i wanted to show you guys the stuff i got from ross so from ross i got this two-piece set it was only $13.99 for both sets it comes with a little wrap shirt and some little flowy pants um and then i got another two-piece set this was also $13.99 i apologize for the camera quality i was doing this on my phone because i made a tiktok you guys so make sure you guys go and follow me on tiktok um, at that's underscore Keandra. Um, and then I also got this wrap shirt. This was also $13.99. And then last but not least, I got this like off the shoulder shirt. I got lots of compliments on this shirt. This shirt was only $10.99. And this ended up being the shirt that I wore when I went out. shirt by the way i'm waiting on my friend to get here where are my heels i'm gonna go ahead and put on heels so that i look grown because i do have on sandals um i don't know if it's just now opening or what but ain't nobody here but as long as they got food child i don't care i'm hungry i just hope because if not i'm about to go to taco bell right around the corner i'm gonna take my black ass home i don't like i'm not the the sunday brunch Sunday fun day girl y'all know I'm not and I'm trying because I want to have content for you guys and I want to have friends and I want to meet people but um yeah so anyways um I did just leave the podcast I didn't really show a lot because I was just trying to be in and out because I was trying to hurry up and get here we were actually supposed to go to two other places but they were so packed because it's so late in the afternoons it's really my fault but whatever um so yeah, right now I'm putting on my heels, y'all. And this is the heels I'm wearing with this. I don't wear heels, y'all. I don't go out. I don't do nothing. They lucky my toes done because like I don't do nothing. I got two breakouts right there. My makeup is starting to separate. My hair was... This is the crazy part. My hair was straight. Now it's curly. So now I got two different textures going on right now. This is all so ghetto, bro. I don't have no gel, no nothing, y'all. Like, now I gotta fix my hair. <laughs> this looks a mess. Uh, a mess. It looks a hot mess. And it's not my proudest moment, but we're here. We are here. Do I have a bobby pin? I don't even think I have a bobby pin, so you can try to pin some of this hair. I normally always keep a bobby pin in my purse. I always keep bobby pins, but now I'm gonna start keeping gel and edge control and shit too, because this looks a mess. Looks a mess. I don't see anything. So, oh well, this is how <gasps> I found a Reese's cup. Am I? This how? That's how hungry I am, y'all. That's how hungry I am. I really hope this place is open, cause if not, I'm gonna be so mad. 
I see people going in and out, so it might be open. Anyway, um, I need to calculate how far my house is from here. I'm tired. I just want to eat and go home. Like, I might not even drink. That's how, like, over it I am. I did absolutely nothing. Anyway, look at my headband showing. Child. Anyway. This going to be... I don't feel, I hate when like I don't feel my best y'all like I know I look cute from like far away if you're not all in my head but like I just know I can do better this is why I stay my ass at home trying to be out trying to be a city girl trying to have a hot girl summer hot girl weekend and not even prepared honestly this hair is just a lot it's 22 inches Mm. So anyway, I guess I will talk to you guys once I get inside. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. Oh, why is he zooming in? Mm -hmm. I honestly don't even know how I made it home last night. Like, so basically, I don't. I think you guys saw we were like at one. It was at one club, right? And two of the girls that was in my friend group, they're um, they are lesbians or bisexual. They like girls. So we went to a gay club after we were um at this other club because Tommy from Love and Hip Hop was going to be there. So we decided to carpool and something told me to bring my sandals because y'all I don't wear heels. Y'all know I'm short, so I need to wear heels, but I don't wear heels cuz I don't go out. But I had on heels yesterday cuz it matched my outfit and everybody else had on heels. And um but my mistake was not oh my bad my mistake was not um bringing my sandals with me so we get to the club where tommy's gonna be and it's like 30 dollars to get in right so i paid the 30 dollars, and literally i walk in and my feet are in excruciating pain all my other friends can change to sandals because they had sandals in their cars and i was just like this is what i get like this is so not me like whatever so it got to the point where it was so bad. I think I probably stayed at the club. Like, Tommy wasn't even there yet. I left before Tommy even came. Um, but also, because I had to, I had to, you know, drive home and all of that, My one of the girls just called me an Uber back to my car. They was like, listen, we know your feet hurt. You're not even gay. Like, it's okay. Like, you don't have to, you know. And then I was really, I wasn't, like, drunk drunk because by that time I had sobered up. I'm very aware of my surroundings and I know my limits. And I always tell people like, yo, like I can't be throwing back drinks and shots like everybody else. Like I'm a small person. I probably had one, two, three, like three drinks and a shot, I think. And I and then hookah. So I was definitely like on one feeling myself. Um 
But with me, like, I'm not a sloppy drunk. I'm not a throw up everywhere drunk. I'm not a loud drunk. I'm an emotional drunk. So as long as I'm not cry somewhere crying in a corner, I'm good. <laughs> and it's so funny because I didn't realize I was an emotional drunk until college. Like, literally my freshman year of college, I was at a, um, I went to a predominantly white college. Not the college I graduated from, but, um... I went to another college my freshman year and there were no like black people like my roommate was mixed and the other one was white and then our other friend was Hispanic so when we went to like frat parties they were like the white frats and um, it was actually a dry town um, but you know they would have to drive like at least an hour to find beer and stuff and I remember being at a college party on the apartment steps, just crying. And I don't know why the fuck I was crying. I don't even think I was sad. I think I was happy and I just, you know, I was just so happy to be free because I was so sheltered and I came from a small town. And I remember just crying on the steps. And at that moment, like from that moment on, I'm like, okay, I'm an emotional drunk. I can't get too drunk. Cause I don't like to show emotions like that. I don't like to be vulnerable around people. Ain't no telling what I would have said, especially last night. You know, um, I was just now meeting some of those those girls. Like, it was just a lot. So I did not cry last night, which is good because I cry when I'm not drunk. So that means I'm healing. Um, I woke up this morning. Um, well, anyways back to what I was talking about so they just kept asking me if I was okay if I was okay and I'm like y'all I'm fine my feet just hurt you know so anyway so one of the girls that are so sweet she was like girl you got a long drive because wherever we were if y'all don't know Houston is big it don't matter what side of town you stay on of Houston like Houston is big and I literally we were so like far downtown like it was like a well it was like a 45 minute drive but it was like late at night y'all know I can't see at night she was like, girl, I'm going to call you an Uber back to your car so you can get home, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, bet. So I go home. I get home last night by the grace of God. Um, like I said, I wasn't drunk. I was, my feet just hurt. Like they were swollen, y'all. And um, Didn't even get to see Tommy. Wasted $30, but whatever. Um, so yeah, but last night was so much fun. It definitely made me realize that like, you know, I can go out and I can do things. Um, I'm more so like a brunch person. Um, I don't like going places where I can't sit down. So, yeah. Which every place that we went, I could sit down. So I was fine until we went to that last club. And you had to have a section in order to sit down. But it was cool. I really had fun with the girls. They were all so beautiful, as you guys saw. I just love having like a really like pretty group of friends which all my friends are pretty, but last night, those were, like, some baddies, and, you know, we all, like, in a group chat this morning, like, yo, like, is everybody okay, you know, and stuff like that, so, yeah, so stay tuned for more outings, now that I have friends to go out with, um, but now, today is Sunday fun day, so I'm getting ready, actually, I'm about to make breakfast, I think I'm on some oatmeal. Make some oatmeal. Just something real simple. I'm going to catch up on some YouTube videos. And then I have to go get my lashes done because they look a mess. And I need to go get my nails done. And I will take you guys with me. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I'm at my um, eyelash appointment. I just wanted to show you guys what they look like before. This one needs a lot. This one isn't that bad, but it could be fuller. Um, I don't know why my face is breaking out. I have like seven huge bumps on my face. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm about to get my lashes done. So this is before, and I'll come back and show you guys after. Also, this is my Eunice 24 inch headband wig that I put flexi rods in, and I should have did this a long time ago because they look amazing. Right. Okay, so these are my lashes. She does good, as always. Um,. Super cute, you know. I get, I think, like, oh, I get like, I think 16, 15. Y'all, my face looks horrible. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I get like 15, 16 millimeter. So, yeah. So now I'm about to go get my nails done, which they don't look bad. They're not grown out, but I can't do long nails. Like, I just genuinely can't. So, 
Let's go get our nails done. And I'm catching this, baby. short cute ombre if you guys can see hold on it's like washed out can you kind of see them anyway they're ombre um i'm about to go home and fix whatever the fuck this is on my face like i don't understand why i am breaking out like this but that's what i am about to go home and do i want to thank you guys for watching this vlog it was like a nice mini vlog you know some short and sweet um, and yeah, I will see you guys on the next vlog.